Hello children of the universe and welcome back to my channel Makeup and Science. My name is Darky and today I am doing three looks, one palette. I'm so rusty with this. Anyway, I am reviewing Hummingbird Palette by Odin's Eye in collaboration with Tina the Fancy Face. So, if that sounds interesting to you, sit back and enjoy. Now, to begin, I am going to show you what the palette looks like on the inside and I'll leave some swatches up for you to look at. So, the Hummingbird is one of the three palettes from the legendary Diversa collaboration that Odin's Eye did with three different influences. The other two influences include Annette um, from Annette's Makeup Corner and Judy which is like j.miniusedy <laughs> on Instagram and I think just on YouTube it's just Judy. Anyway, I'll leave all links down below in the description box so you can check out Tina and the other two influencers. Also the website where you can, well, it's not for sale anymore, but maybe one day it will come back. So it's still like, you can still see it on the website, but you can't buy it. So each palette has an inspiration for each um, influencer or their background of where they come from. So I'm just gonna read it straight from the website. The Hummingbird Eyeshadow Palette from the Legendary Diversa Collection is our first attempt at bringing out a product with our beloved beauty YouTuber at The Fancy Face, who designed an eyeshadow palette inspired by the hummingbirds in Jamaican mythology. Tina has Jamaican heritage and we really wanted to let her create her version of the palette that got its inspiration from Jamaica's national bird, the hummingbird. It's widely believed that the hummingbirds have spiritual powers as well as they are an ancient symbol of joy and happiness. Tina picked a colourful story that got its inspiration from the hummingbirds and the tropical land of Jamaica. She also chose amazing shimmers and metallics that resemble the reflective colours of the hummingbird's feathers. A perfect palette for those who love colour, colourful eyeshadows. So the colours include 12 colours, including four different textures, five mattes, four shimmer eyeshadows, two metallic eyeshadows, and one multi-chrome eyeshadow. So having a closer look, we have feathers, which is grass green metallic eyeshadow, red hills, which is a brick red matte eyeshadow, star apple, which is a dark gray matte eyeshadow, swallow tail, orange shimmer eyeshadow, tropics, lake blue metallic shadow, lagoon, dark blue matte eyeshadow, hibiscus rose red matte eyeshadow, beach sands, golden brown shimmer eyeshadow, Hummingbird Bluish Purple Shimmer Eyeshadow, Fancy Purple Multi-Chrome Eyeshadow, Indescribable Color Shifts in Different Angles and Lightings, Blue Field Sapphire Blue Shimmer Eyeshadow, Clear Blue Pale Blue Matte Eyeshadow. Now, I feel like there's some discrepancies in their descriptions of the colors because um, Star Apple, which they describe as a dark gray matte eyeshadow definitely looks uh purple and here is my swatch it looks purple i mean it might be like a grayish purple but it, it's purple um and definitely with fancy so fancy is described as a purple purple multi-chrome eyeshadow I don't see any purple. Sorry for the swearing, but oh my God, I do not see any purple in this. And I put it on top of purple. Yeah, you'll see what it looks like on here and you'll see what it looks like in look two, but yeah i i definitely don't see purple i see pink pink is the biggest and then it goes orange there's green shimmer in there and gold interesting to say the least so 
Without further ado, here is look one, two, and then three. I'm doing this as a voiceover because there was a lot of noise when I was initially recording and I just figured this would be best. For every look, I've been trialing the Sigma Eyeshadow Base Primer in the color Ignite. So far, so good. It has worked very well with these eyeshadow formulas and blends well into my skin tone. Uh, so far, there's been no dehydrated eyelids, uh, no creasing at all, and helps prevent uh, staining from strong, pig bleh, from strong pigments. So I've also been trialing the wrapper brushes. Um, so this is, I also got this in my Black Friday haul. And um, yep, Japanese brand, natural fiber hairs, wonderful. Um, so I started off this look using clear blue in the crease. And now I'm just going in with Lagoon which is a blue dark matte for the outer corner. And as you can see, um, the colors blend really nicely. They can go really softly, blend them out to like a very pale, sort of translucent amount, but you can build it up and get really dark. Though I think you can see here, like if I put Lagoon first, it would have been a much deeper, true blue like that's in pan compared to putting it on top of the paler blue which um, didn't give that full opacity of the dark color so i think if you want the truest darkest color in pan start your look off with that uh, before you know going in with the paler color but as also you can see like these colors blend really nicely together so if you wanted to create a look that isn't in pan and you know it's between the two they blend nicely together, which is really nice because um, I would love to try the hibiscus, which is the uh, rosy matte and sort of make a softer purple using the blue. But anyway, uh, this is Blue Fields, the metallic uh, dark blue. Um, I think it's probably my favorite color in this palette. Like. Um, it really drew, drew me in like this is such a beautiful dark blue shimmer um and i love these shimmers are really soft and like creamy they're really soft like putty like almost um but when you put them down they stay and i think they work best with fingers i think like all shimmers pretty much work best with fingers uh but it also really worked well with the brushes that you can make it more precise and like finish sort of editing with the brush afterwards and then also like blending the two shimmers together works really well with brushes and this light shimmer is tropics it's like a greeny light blue it's not exactly a sky blue it's a bit more of like a slightly aqua turquoisey um and i think it's that would really complement well with the light blue matte, but as you can see, it blends really well into the uh, dark shimmers as well. And this is the final look. I have used Sigma's liquid lipstick in the color Suede. So this time when I used the primer, I thought I'd try it out using the like a brush to blend it out, which I never do, but I see others do, so I thought, oh, okay, I'll try it out. Um, for me, personally, I don't like using the brush. I do prefer just going in with the finger. I think also even afterwards, like when you go to put the color on, usually your eyelid's a bit creased, so you need to pat it out with your eye anyway, with your finger anyway so yeah fingers best in my personal opinion so i started out in the crease with hibiscus because i wanted that to be like the main oomph color i really love this color it's like a rosy pinky like hot pink red uh matte and it's just i don't know it's just really divine and pretty I'm just going in with a clean brush here to blend out the edges and 
just make it blend a bit more to the skin because there's not really a transition color in here uh, but you'll see later I use a shimmer that sort of add like acts sort of like a transition topper shade and I'll show you later so this is where I wanted to try out the multi cream fancy and now I can sort of see where it says that it's purpley, but it's really a pinky purple. And here, putting Fancy in the inner corner, you can see that sort of gold shimmer that comes with it. Um, that was really unexpected when I put it in. I was quite shocked when I saw that. I thought it really was going to be a pink blue multi-chrome. Um, and even when I did put it on top of a blue, it still comes up as the same sort of pinky gold shimmer. So anyway, it, it's a beautiful color. Um, I really love how this look came out. It's probably my favorite so far, uh, but I'm really going to enjoy playing with this palette in, you know, months to come. And I'm just going in with Red Hills, it is the sort of ready brick colour at the top row and that just helps sort of bring some depth into the look. And you can see here, I'm really dragging it into the um, inner corner crease because, you know, when you have that shadow deeper in, it sort of helps to bring that lid out, like make it pop where you do have that shine. Um, you know, having that, I know my eyes don't look that hooded, but they are hooded. And it's only going to get worse with age. Um, so yeah, having those sort of, simple techniques really help just emphasize the look overall and just you know repeating the top colors on the bottom lid here you know starting with red heels to connect with the outer corner going in with hibiscus and now just using uh, the refer 12 brush to add fancy into that inner corner area Just using the brush here to uh, fix up my shape a little bit, make it a little bit more pointy. And so this is Beach Sands. This is the sort of topper transition shimmer that I was talking about. Because it is quite translucent, it's not a opaque shimmer like the others. And I think this is going to work really well as like a brow bone to sort of especially because all the other colors are quite intense and strong. You need that to go somewhere because it's not matching any natural skin tone. And this is a really helpful way to transition from uh, extreme pigmented, colorful eyeshadows into a more natural skin tone look. And because it is translucent, I think it's gonna be uh, more friendly to multiple different skin tones. And that's the final look. And here I'm using Gorgeous Liquid Lipstick by Sigma. Hello and welcome to my third and final look. There's only four shadows that I have not used yet in the palette. And I also just wanna try using Fancy, which is the multi-chrome on different bases to see how it looks compared to the second look where it came out looking quite fiery orange. So I'm going to start 
with clear blue in the inner portion and sort of up into the crease. As you can see, the colors are quite pigmented and they pick up really well. They're not patchy in any way and they blend out fantastic. And that's pretty much the position of clear blue that I want. I'm gonna make sure it's really well blended before I go in with my next color. That. And I'm gonna go in with Star Apple, which is the purple matte. Shit, I think I put way too much on my brush. And the only reason why I have fallout is because I put a, a, a ton on my brush. Okay, am I happy with that shape? Yes, I think so. I'm gonna try to blend a little bit, I think. This is why it's difficult creating the shape I want with hooded eyes. Get that to match my eyebrow and also like when I have my eyes open that it just flows. There's one arch. Okay, I think that's better now. Alright, so I'm happy with that shape. I'm just going to repeat the other eye. Okay, I think that's the shape I'm going for, like the base. Now I'm gonna use Fancy and see what happens on these shadows. Just gonna use my finger. Does it come up as bluey on here? Cause like when I look at it, it looks blue. More, more blue than anything. And that's pink. Can you see the blue? Wait. All right. Trying. Oh wait, I wonder if it works this way. All right, so you can sort of get a better idea of what this color looks like. <laughs> if I can get my fingers staying in the mirror. Okay, that's what I see. And then that's what you see. Let's just see what happens. Okay. more like a fiery bluey orange I mean it's not bad but it's definitely not what I was expecting the other eye I'll come back yeah definitely have a dark shadow so it looks just really fiery deceptive color I'd like to see it in different lighting and then I'll post some images here and what it looks like in different lighting um, but until then I'm going to use Hummingbird, which is the deep purple color in this outer corner here.
it looks good. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I think definitely when I have, um, you know, different things showing up on the monitor and in the mirrors, it's just all over the place. I'm gonna blend that matte through as well. And I'm just gonna blend the two together. Just finding it's working better with the fingers. Very sticky shimmers. Um, yes, yes, okay, let's go with that. Let's go with that. And now to add in the two missing shades, the green and orange shimmers. So I wonder if I should clean up under here first. Nah, I'll do that later. Just going to use number 12 and go into feathers, which is the green. There. I'm going to go over the green part there. I mean, blue. I'm going over the blue part. very interesting. And drag that up there just to look feisty. And I think because the multi-chrome has some green flex to it, it sort of just marries the look together. And I'm just going to use my finger again to sort of bring that together more. Okay, now I'm going to clean up and come back and finish that off. Okay, I feel that's sufficiently cleaned up for now. I'm just going to the under eye area. So, hmm, I'm going to grab, I don't know. I'm going to start off with purple. And I'm going for the shimmer. I feel like a shimmery under eye. And the shimmer has a, the purple shimmer, which is hummingbird, has a bit of a blue sheen to it as well. I might grab some of Lagoon, which is the dark blue, and just emphasize that blue. Alright, now for Swallowtail, the orange shimmer, and I'm going to use the 03, which is a pencil brush. Okay, this one doesn't seem to want to work much with the brush. Okay, let's do this with the finger. Oh shit, I think I put way too much. It's all in my eyeball. Oh my god. Oh. That looks insane. Okay, let's let get it in my eyeball this time. This is not working out the way I thought it would. Okay, 
Oh, it's gonna my eye. I'm going to use try use fancy to blend this orange shimmer into the blue area. And we can hope for the best. All right, I think that's it with eyeshadows. I'm going to finish the rest of my face off and come back to you with the final look. And this here is the finished look. Um, I don't know what I think about it. Actually, no, I haven't done my highlighter yet. Um, I decided to use Kaleidos uh, Space Age Prophecy, which is a sort of like peachy green multi-chrome. Um, in the meantime, I did do foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, blush, lips. I used um, Sigma's lip gloss by itself in Passionate. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like by itself. And now I'm going to use the Kaleidos highlighter brush to do the highlighting. Um, yeah, the look different definitely did not come out the way I thought it would. Um, but I guess it's nice. Did I put too much? Oh, who cares? Probably. <laughs> oh gosh. Extreme highlighter to go with an extreme look. Um, I don't think it's showing up on camera as much as I can see it in the mirrors. Like I see orange, you see green, I think. Anyway, just go for it. So I guess my overall thoughts for the palette is I really like it. I'm happy I have it. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to try the other palettes from the collection and if I do buy more from the brand I know I'll like it. Um, I'm also just going to do some highlighter up here to tie the look together. And then my eyebrows now. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'll probably wash it off later with some water, just gently. I should have used a different brush. I'm gonna look very otherworldly, but that's the whole point of the, wow, this highlighter brush picks up a lot. Like usually, yeah, I'm gonna blame the highlighter brush that I'm not used to it because shit, this is holding a lot of product and I was not expecting that. My fault, that's all right. I can be a crazy alien today. I'm not feeling the best. I think this, doing this has really wiped me out. So I'm gonna go lay down after this because I deserve it. I already do like a whole separate video of me talking about my recovery from surgery. So I won't include it in this. Okay, that is look complete. And I'll take some photos. And if you ever wanna see like what my looks look like off camera like in different lighting check out my instagram uh <laughs> instagram profile link is down below in the description box and yeah you might see things from like different perspectives i did wear the hummingbird scarf and just been trying out different earrings okay so that is the end of my video i hope you enjoyed this journey <laughs> and enjoy the three looks I made. All products and colors used are in the description box down below. And um, yeah, please leave a comment about anything. Tell me what you think. Have you got this um, collection or this palette? Sorry, it is out of stock now, but you never know, they could bring it back. So I guess keep your eye out for that. And yeah, consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you next time on Makeup and Science. Bye!